All right, this is Mr. Charles from Make It Simple TT. Welcome to another theory video. This theory video is on Cape Computer Science Unit 1. I hope you learned something. All right, so we're going floating point. Of course, a computer can't only use um, decimal calculations. Um, um, whole numbers. Sometimes you might have to use a, um, a decimal. But we know that as 3.5, all our computer knows is 1.1s and zeros. So we have to find a way to represent a decimal as a binary number. So what they have this thing is they have three parts of a, a, a number. They have a sign bit, then they have a exponent, exponential, and then they have something called the mantissa. So there are two methods to do it. I could show you both of them. Mm. One method will be look at the sign bit. If the sign bit is zero, which is this, then you know it's a positive number. The mantissa will be one zero one one, which is here, and the exponent is zero one one. So you know we know this is to the power of three. So step one is multiply m by two to the power of e. E is for exponent. So 2 to the power of 3 is what? So the 3 now is going to tell you how many spaces that you're going to move the decimal place. So the decimal place will be moving 1, 2, 3. If we move it that 3 spaces, we're going to get 101.1. 0, 1. 1. Then you have to convert the 101, 1, which is basically true normal conversion of 5. And 2, and this one here is um, 2 to the minus 1, which will give you a half which is 0.5. So you get 5.5. The next way to do it is um, m by b to the e. So you convert the man to start uh, um, to uh, a number, which will be this one here will translate to a half, this one here will translate to a one eight, this will translate to one sixteenth. And then you add it all up and you'll get eleven sixteenths. And then you multiply um the matter that you get, multiply by this, and eleven over sixteen multiply by eight will give you five point five. So that's the second way to do it. Both of them will work all the time. It depends on how you want to work it out in life down after. but this one here you need to know what's going on after the point so 2 to the minus 1 and then 2 to the minus 2 2 to the minus 3 2 to the minus 4 so 2 to the minus 1 is a half this is a quarter then you go up to 1 8 then you go to 1 16th and then you go to 1 32nd all right so if you want to do that you can do that if you want to do this one you'll do it how keep this market is this do the first method so the first method, they will give you the sign bits, the mantissa, and then the exponent. And then you have to move it based on the, the um, power of the exponent, which will be 1, 2, 3. And then you will do the calculation for each side. Either way, it will work. Thanks for watching the theory video. If you learned something, give it a like, give it a share, subscribe, do whatever you have to do. And if you want practical applications of the things, feel free to check out any of my classes. You can find them on my website at makeitsimplett.com. I have classes for all different subjects from CSEC IT, CAPE IT, CAPE Computer Science, and many different tutorial videos that you could find on this channel. So um, thank you very much and look out for the next video that is here or here because I have all the theory videos for all the subjects.